Hey, you guys. Welcome back. I do have on some skincare, so I'm gonna buff that into my skin in a minute. Once I get this up and get it shared for everybody, I am going in with the Vanity Planet Hot and Cold Facial Wand. I love this thing so much. So, I'm gonna prep my skin and get this shared for you guys. Maybe if it'll let me click. We'll be working with magic here. Hey, Olivia. All right, I've got skincare on my face. I'm going in with the Vanity Planet tool. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. I love this so much. I use it every day and every night. And with my exclusive code, you guys, you're going to get this wand. It drops it from $200 to um, 52. So I'm just going to do the cold setting now to close. Now, of course, date night was great. Date night was fantastic. I love date night. <laughs> They're few and far between, so I gotta take them when I can get them. That's for sure. It was delish, delish. All right, you guys, if y'all have not grabbed this tool, let me just say y'all are missing out on one of the most satisfying facial tools in the in like in existence. It's so good. So, hey Meg. Um this is the Vanity Planet tool. I do have it linked for you guys in the description of this video, and it's going to bring it down from $200 to $52. So definitely make sure you go grab that. My link is a limited time offer through them, um, and I'm really, like, loving that tool. So, all right, I'm going to go in with this lip mask, you guys. This is linked on my like to know it. It is so good, and I love it so much. It is a sleeping mask, but I wear it all the time. All right, so some of you guys have been requesting like a super dark vampy look. And so I'm like, okay, let's do it. Um, I have kind of had a lazy day. It's been kind of an eventful day, but a lazy day, if you will. So um, I figured why not bring the drama and bring the heat and like, you know, go full fledged. So this is the palette we're going to use tonight. This is showing up way more orange on camera. It's more of like a brick color. Um... That's the palette that we're going to use tonight. Everything is in stock, and I actually just linked the kudos for you guys. So let me get it. Um, oh, God, I can't listen to myself talk. Oh, that's terrible. All right. So while we do that, I'm going to get my face prep. Make sure you guys share when y'all hop on. Say hello. All the good things. If you're new here, let me know you're new. And let me get this. Ha, <laughs> Greslin, I thought you'd like that. Um,. All right, so I have linked the kudos with this palette in it, you guys. It is going to be so pretty. I'm like, you know what? The more drama, the better tonight. Let's just bring it on. So, um, let me, nope, wrong thing. Hey, Heather. Let me pin that comment. And let's get going. So, um, if you're just hopping on, we talked a little bit about this tool right when we went live. It is... Um, Literally like my ride or die. Hey, Karen. Message me, girl. Message me. Hey, Steph. Hey, Kathy. Make sure y'all share when y'all hop on. It literally helps so much, you guys. I'm in like comfy clothes. I'm in just a tank top from J. Crew and this really comfy like, I don't know what it is that I got in a FabFitFun um, at some point in time and I have literally lived in it. I love it so much. So, if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys on my like to know it. I've been good. Life's been crazy. It's been busy and eventful and, you know, all the crazy things. But it's been good. Everything's been good. Can't see your name. It was going on Facebook. Okay. Oh, no, it's just. All right. So, just pressing that in. This is the Mattifying Face Primer. Um, so, I'm going to let you guys choose my foundation tonight, whether you guys want to see stick um, or stick and spray seem to be the most popular right now, to be honest with you. Um, Lexi, grab it. I know, Kate. I know. Um, he's good. He's fantastic. Um, Lexi, grab it. And the reason I say that is because the Behold Setting Spray just went on back order, or back order. It's out of stock. So the powder is going to go next. So I would go ahead and grab it. Um, you can actually click either the link in the description or the link right here. And grab it or I can shoot you a link either one all right so um stick foundation or spray foundation what are we feeling what do we have in the melting pot I got all fish you guys know me I really don't eat much red meat at all so I got all fish I had ahi tuna salmon and shrimp and he had steak steak 
steak and more steak. <laughs> so um, that's the main difference between the two of us. I eat a whole lot of seafood and he, um, he does not. <laughs> so, all right, so let's see here. Um, spray stick, stick, spray, stick. Spray with sponge. Okay. Keep the votes coming in, you guys. Keep sharing. Say hey when you hop on. If you're new here, let me know where you're watching from. All of those good things. Are you guys having issues with back order too? Um, no, not really. I think, I think honestly, ours is more like demand. When things are coming back in stock, everybody's grabbing them. So that's kind of what it is. Um, do you guys live close to each other? Not super close, no. Kind of makes it difficult at times. So um, yes, I'm a big tuna girl. All right, spray has the most votes. So, do you want to see spray with a sponge or spray with the brush? You guys know my favorite way to apply it is with the brush. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That is going to give you the most coverage. The spray is such a lightweight foundation that honestly, you if you apply it with a... Um, I'm going to move my computer because when I didn't the other day, I got spray foundation all over it. Um, the... Um, from Atlantic, North Carolina, Cole from Virginia. Welcome, Karen. Hey, Natalie. Brush, brush, brush. All right, I will be honest with you guys. This is my all-time favorite way to apply our foundations. Um, Kristen, you're broken. <laughs> hey, Shaylin. Thanks for sharing, you guys. Um, I'm a seafood girl. I love me some seafood. It's pretty much all I eat. Actually, tonight I did have a burger, which if you know me, that is a rare occasion, but I only eat burgers from this one local place. So, San Diego, Emily. Um, Tiffany from Ohio. Cool. Let's see how far we can get this. I want to see if we can get people from like literally all over the world on this live tonight. I think that would be kind of cool. So the more you share, the higher chances we have of that happening. Also, my hair is actually really long for those of you who are new here. Um, it's actually long, but the way that it sits when I have it like curl behind my ears, it makes it look short. So, um, all right. Thanks for sharing. All right, here we go. Let's go with this spray foundation. I'm going in with the shade Cashmere. Cashmere. <laughs> cashmere. Your girl is tan, okay? Your girl is tan. I've got to be dark. So, I actually have this in satin as well. I had to make sure that was actually Erica from Louisiana. I had to make sure it was the right one. So, you guys, we actually have quite a bit of spray foundation in stock right now. So, it flies off the shelves. So, if this is something that you guys have been wanting to try, message me tonight. Let's get you ordered. I don't want you to miss out on your shade, okay? Um, spray foundation is our top selling foundation. It is also the newest foundation that we have, um, which is kind of crazy. But honestly, you guys, nothing makes your skin look as good as this. And it's also the only foundation that truly... Um, Vancouver, Washington, Ontario, Canada. I am here for this. I'm here for this. The more the merrier. Guinevere is Georgia. Fabulous. Loving it. Okay. So, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sydney. I'm a hot mess express blonde from the south. I'm from North Carolina. Um, it's usually about a hundred and something degrees here. And today actually was cool for a summer day here. It was very odd. Very, very odd. Probably has something to do with that hurricane that just came through. But, um, yeah, we're going to do some makeup. We're going to have fun. We're going to do super dramatic eye look, you know, everything. But everything that I'm going to do tonight, you can grab from my website. It's pinned and linked. Um, and the entire eye look is going to be on sale. So, let's just move on. Hey, Taylor. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. If I ever color match you for this foundation or the spray foundation, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to include this in your recommendations too. It is literally the best way to apply this foundation ever. Like, ever. So, I do teeny tiny little baby sprays of this. I don't want to saturate my brush and I also don't want to like not use enough. So I just do little baby sprays and I'm going to go and impress this foundation into my skin. For those of you who are just hopping on, I do have on um, the mattifying face primer. I am more on the oily side and I like a very mattified look to my skin. I don't like to look shiny. I don't want any of that. I literally want a flawless canvas. I do have a breakout right here. You can kind of see it. You know, we can cover breakouts, but like, I'm not going to set you guys up for failure. I can't make the 3D-ness of a breakout go away, okay? But we can take the redness away and we can camouflage it. So, I just take a little bit of foundation on my brush and press it in. This brush is like the Mac Daddy of brushes for this foundation. I'm telling you guys, it literally makes everything look so flawless. So, look how 
I mean, literally airbrushed we look. Even with a breakout right there, you guys, there's actually one right there too. Um, even with the breakout, this is like what we start with. So we start out with some red breakouts. I've got a little bit of redness right here, a little bit of texture, kind of some uneven skin tone, and then you can see we're completely evened out right here. So I'm gonna go in with a little baby sprays. And let's just go in with this side. So like I said, I am the shade Cashmere. I tan very easily. Um, I am always in the sun. And I'm also um, like Indian. I've got Native American in me. So I tan very easily. So if you know what your shade is and you have been wanting to try this spray foundation, go grab it. Go grab it, okay? Um, but if you need to be color matched, all I need you to do is send me a message with a recent picture of yourself in good lighting. And I can get you color matched, hey, Lindsay, and get you um, set up. I do have a goal I'm trying to reach tonight, you guys. <laughs> like a personal goal in my head um so if you guys want to order tonight let me know i'll get you hooked up it's so good isn't it mag it is so good all right little baby sprays and a little goes a very long way so it literally it sounds like spray paint okay it sounds like spray paint but it is so good it is literally i mean look at the coverage but you guys it's one of the most lightweight foundations i have ever put on my face I used to use Estee Lauder Double Wear, Kat Von D um, foundation. I've used Tarte. I've used, oh God, what else? I've literally used a ton. Urban Decay. Um, I've used some other, um, I've used Wet n Wild's Photo Focus. I've used a ton. You got Smashbox. Um, but this, hands down, is the most lightweight foundation I've ever put on my face. And even the girls um, who, hey, Lindsay. Even the girls who aren't used to wearing foundation that grab this foundation, they end up loving it, you guys. So definitely make sure, um, if you're curious, grab it. We do have a 14 day love it guarantee, which means you essentially get to try a full size product for two weeks. And if you don't like it, you can send it back and get your money back. Like for real, it's crazy. I've had my bottle for probably six months. I don't do makeup every day, but yes, it does. Cause you don't, you really don't need that much. And if you've got the appropriate tools, you really aren't gonna need that much either. This brush does not soak up much product at all, which I'm here for, here for. All right, so we're gonna put the lid back on that. This is, like I said, this is the airbrush foundation, spray foundation in the shade Cashmere for me. So if I were to sit back, you could probably tell maybe how tan I am in real life. I don't know. Um, I don't feel tan, but you know, it's, different when other people look at you. I'm used to looking at myself every day. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, if you've been watching me like for any period of time, you guys know I am a like crazy person when it comes to concealer. I love concealer, it is my favorite thing, but I also use our stick foundation as concealer. So what we're gonna do is go in with the shade Velour. I had to make sure I had the right shade. I'm blind as a bat, you guys. <laughs> and um, we're going to push this right underneath our eyeball. So the good thing about this stick foundation is I'm an oily girl, so I can't do a lot of hydration, which is why I can't wear the stick foundation all over for a long period of time, but I can wear it as concealer, which I'm super excited about because my under eyes right here get very dry, especially in the winter time. So y'all, I think I'm so full. My belly is like pushing on my ribs and I can't breathe. <laughs> um, so I love the coverage, hey Eric, that I get from this foundation. I love it so much, but also the hydration underneath my eye. The more hydrated your under eyes are, the more youthful you're gonna look, which is essentially what you want. You don't wanna look like a, I mean, I'm 28. I ain't trying to look, you know, 50. Granted, some people that are 50 look way better than I do. So you know what I mean though, you get my drift. All right, make sure when y'all hop on, y'all hit that share button. Let me know where you're watching from and if you're new. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I know, I love, I just give the stick foundation. The stick foundation as concealer last forever too, like for freaking ever. So good. All right, so what we're gonna do next is go in with the Behold Translucent Setting Powder. Now, if y'all have never used this, trust me, like, if you, I don't know if you know me from Adam, trust me on this. This will be the best translucent setting powder you have ever used in your entire life. I am dead serious. So, what we're going to do now is really, we've got the full coverage going on, but now I want that airbrush look. So, we're going to go with the damp beauty sponge. This one is from Real Techniques. It is um, linked on my like to know it, which is in the description of this video. Y'all can go follow me for other things in life. But, 
we are going to dip it directly into this. I have taken out the top little thing because, you know, I want full access to my powder. And I'm going to press this in. Now, this is a damp sponge. So, what I have done is completely saturated this under the sink. I've squeezed it out. And then I have um, wrung it out in a, uh, what do you call that thing? A washcloth. Jessica from North Carolina. Girl, that's where I am too. Carolina girls. Love it so much. Okay, so I'm going to go in and press this in. I'm not baking. I'm not leaving anything really on the surface of my skin. I'm really melting this powder into that concealer to give me a really flawless airbrushed look. And if you have some that's still setting on the surface, it's okay. We can dust it away in a little bit. So that is the Behold Setting Powder. Like I said, the Behold Setting Spray is out of stock right now. It's like real sad, real sad day. But this, you guys, Grab it before it goes, please, because it is so good. Okay, have to drink some water, get some hydration going. All right, now I'm gonna go with the pressed powder foundation in the shade Satin. This is also gonna give us a little bit of coverage as well as really set our foundation. Now, I, like I said, am oily, so I set everything that goes on my face. Some people truly hate powder. Some people, look at that, y'all. What's happening back here? Some people truly hate liquid. My mother is one of those people. She hates liquid makeup now. She is a powder girl. Um, so, she likes to go in with the powder and a brush and just do a really light application. But I will tell you guys, this powder can go, hey, Kayla, um, this powder can go full coverage. It can go light coverage. So, if you want light coverage, just get a big fluffy brush and dust it on. If you want full powder foundation coverage, let me tell you how magical this little sponge is. And I'm not a fan of these little sponges. But this sponge is magical. You want to talk about coverage? Holy guacamole. That is like crazy coverage. So there's definitely a lot of wearable options with the powder foundation. So, so good. If you need to be color matched, like I said, just shoot me a message. All I need is a recent um, picture of yourself. Paris, Texas. There's a country song that just that came out recently. And Paris, Texas is in it, and I can't think about it. Um, red, white, and blue American dream. That's what it is. I love it so much. It is, Lindsay. It is a very velvety powder. It's such a good powder. So, I'm going to go with bronzer next. Now, some of you who are new here are not going to like me because this bronzer is out of stock. <laughs> so, if you guys are needing bronzer, what I will do is add the shade Twill to your um, face, uh, da, 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 what do you call them, color match recommendations. And what I do essentially is when you ask me for a color match, I'm gonna send you a list of things that are gonna be like super great for you and your skin type. Um, and that is literally gonna give you the option to either go on with your full blown base face or um, you can pick and choose out of those list of recommendations. But I always wanna give people the best. Um, that's my job is to give you guys the best. And I have what I consider the best and I want to share that with you guys. So that's kind of how it'll work. Um, but even if you guys, even if you're unsure, just shoot me a message. We'll chat to kind of figure out what's best for you. Um, and then we'll shoot you over a recommendation link and you can add it to your cart and check out without even having to like scroll through the website, which honestly, you guys, I run a business on social media and sometimes I get tired of scrolling through websites. So I totally understand it. I know I used to think they could go in the trash too, Lindsay. And then one day I was like, let me just see what kind of coverage this gives me. And it gave me real good coverage. I was like, dang, here for that. All right. What we're going to do next is go in with blush. If you've watched me for any period of time, y'all already know we're going in with supple because supple is my jam. Hey, Chelsea, I'm good, hun. How are you? And I don't think I ordered another one of these, but my order did ship today. Hallelujah. So I have new makeup coming. Very, very excited about that. I needed some restocks. I got this month's kudos, even though I have everything, but I wanted more because it's on sale, so why not? You know what I mean? All right. We are going to buff this out with the Real Techniques brush. This is the Duo Fiber Face Brush. It is from Walgreens or something like that. I believe it is linked on my Like to Know It as well. So, now the cool thing about this brush is... The Duo Fibers, it's like half real hair, half natural hair. So it really allows your powders to really blend out effortlessly and give you more of just a very natural blendability versus just taking a brush and going in and getting all crazy. The Duo Fibers really help soften the below a little bit, if you will. All right, let's get on to the fun stuff, you guys. I don't know what this part's doing, but I'm not really having it. 
Like, what's happening? Okay. This is the palette for tonight, and it is linked in that comment right there, the kudos is. So what the kudos is, if you're new here, it is our monthly special. And this month, you can actually have the opportunity to build your own, your own custom quad. If I get my words out. Um, you can grab palette six, which is out of the vault for a limited time. It's absolutely stunning. My nose is itching, so it might sneeze. Or it might sneeze. I might sneeze. Or you can grab the, oh my gosh, seriously, Sydney. There we go. Um, the beloved palette two as well. So you can either build one like this, grab this one, or grab palette six. There's a bunch of different options this month. You also get a bag and a liner and a mascara for 83 bucks. It's such a good deal. Such a good deal. What color nails will I have next? I have no earthly idea. I've done this twice now. I used to only do pink and white. I don't know what I'll do. Um, fall's coming, so I might get back into my colors. We'll see. How was your date night? It was great. Date night was great. I love date nights. I had a really good Moscow mule. Love a good mule. I'm usually a beer girl, but mm, love a good Moscow mule. All right, let's grab a couple eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to grab a blending brush, a fluffy crease brush, a crease brush, a flat definer brush, cream shadow brush, and a liner shader brush. We're going to use them all. So, we're doing, y'all have requested this. Y'all have wanted to see a su super smoky look, just super dramatic. So I was like, here we go. Let's just do it. Why not? So we're going to go in and do this. So we have the shades Impish, Fervent, Irrational, and Shrewd. Okay. Irrational is kind of a satin. Shrewd is going to be our shimmer in this. It's going to be a very dark and smoky dramatic makeup look. And I'm here for it. And I've got some lashes already trimmed, but I might actually trim up some thicker, more dramatic lashes just for this look. So we'll see kind of, you know, what happens. All right, let me spot clean this brush. All right, we're gonna go in with the shade Impish. This is actually more of like a brick red color. It's coming off a little orange on camera and it might be because it's paired up against that. Um, but it's actually more of like a brick red. Kind of has a little bit of that clay color to it, but it's definitely not orange. I use Witty and Credulous together. Oh, love. What's a Moscow Mule? It is a vodka and ginger beer. And it is so refreshing. It was my drink of choice um, when we had our last incentive trip, uh, the cruise to the Bahamas. Yeah, they were my best friend that last day. Um, they're honestly just a very refreshing. If you're, if you're, if you like liquor, um, they're a very refreshing liquor drink. And honestly, even if you don't, I'm not a very big liquor fan anymore. Um, you know, my college days are over, but I don't mind having one of those every now and then because they are very refreshing and they usually are served in a copper mug. So they stay super cold. They're so good and tasty. So notice I've got this big fluffy blending brush. All of these uh, brushes are on the website. So we're going inner corner to outer corner. And starting with the lightest shade and the largest brush. They're very good, Kathy. They kind of have an odd, I don't want to say an odd taste to them. They're served with the sprig of mint, which I don't like. Um, I don't like mint mojitos or anything like that, but you can't really taste the mint. Um, they're just good. They have a little bubble to them from the ginger beer. Um, they're, they're delish. They're delish. Hey, beer. So I was a cranberry vodka girl in college. I was like, oh, cranberry vodka, cranberry pineapple vodka, cranberry anything vodka. Like I was here for it. Um, but I have like in, I say in my old age, like I'm over here, you know, growing gray hair. Um, I just, beer became my, my go-to. Every now and then I'll get like a rum runner, Bahama mama, something like that if I'm feeling fruity. But honestly, y'all, the sweetness of a lot of it now, I just can't. <sighs> <sighs> can't do it. All right. So now we're going to go in with fervent, which is this one right here. Fervent is a staple in anyone's, anyone's eyeshadow collection. You guys, it is the perfect Merlot color. It's so stinking pretty. Look at that. Like, oh, and we're just going to buff this primarily on that outer corner and then just take it to that inner corner. Just like so. Margarita girl. Oh man. I used to be a tequila girl as well loved tequila. All right. So we're going back and forth. Gin girl, gin and tonic. Yes. Um, my boyfriend actually likes that. And I had, I don't think I've ever had like a good one. And he made me one the other night and I was like, Oh, Oh, I can like, 
I, it was it was a struggle at first. You almost need like a lime or something like that in it to make it a little bit more bearable. Um, but I definitely think that's something. It's it's kind of like a kind of like a Moscow Mule. Honestly, it's just um, something bubbly with some liquor, and it's all clear and pretty, and you know, it's not terrible. I definitely think that's more of like gin is more of an acquired taste. Granted, I'm not like an alcohol connoisseur by any means. Most days I drink water. All right, we're going in with this, what is this? Um, blending brush and picking up a little bit more of impish and going back in just like so. Just to make sure we're buffed out and blended and really blown out. That's kind of the purpose of these really smoky looks is I wanna make sure that all of our colors are still gonna be visible. Whether we're completely blended or we're completely finished with our look, I wanna make sure that you can tell that we can see all of those colors, but they're still very blended. So pick up a little bit more and go in the. It's another one, Lauren, it is another one. So for those of you just hopping on, make sure you say hey and hit that share button, but this is the palette for tonight. So it's impish, fervent, irrational, and shrewd. A little bit more smoky than what we usually do. All right, we're gonna go in, I wanna use my mirror real quick. We're gonna go in with the shade Irrational, which is this one right here. It's kinda like a slate color. Um, like I said, this one is more of a satin, so it's not a complete matte, but you can use it as a matte, if you will. And it is a very, like, oh, such a good eyeshadow. So, it's been a hot minute since I've used this eyeshadow. Like, hot minute. And this is a great alternative for those of you who don't like black eyeshadows, but you like the depth that they give, but maybe black is intimidating. Grab Irrational. It is such a great slate gray color. So pretty, so good. And we're just gonna kind of pop it right there. Now, the purpose of this brush is to make sure that we get that pigment exactly where we want it without kind of feathering it and flaking it everywhere else because I, I ain't trying to have a complete black eye because once again, I did choose the colors so that we could still see all of the colors. And so we're gonna go back in and blend and add and blend and add, but it is literally going to be so pretty and smoky and bring in all the drama, which I'm here for. All the drama, okay? So I just pick up a little bit at a time. I do whack my brush extremely hard on my mirror um, to tap off the excess, but. All right, now what we're gonna do, no additional product on this brush. This is the brush that we used with Fervent. And I'm going to buff out Irrational. It's such a pretty color and I'll actually swatch it on my finger here in a minute so you guys can really see the color. Look at that, like that is stunning and it is such a buttery eyeshadow you guys like so buttery oh it is beautiful I really don't use it like nearly enough I may have used it like twice since I've had it um I, and I don't know why I really don't it's an absolutely stunning eyeshadow all right so here we go we're going to keep blending there's remember there's no additional product on this brush yet <sighs> yet but you can see the Irrational, you can see the Fervent, and you can see the Impish still up top, which I'm here for. So you see what this more smoked out blended version looks like? So much better. So if you do this, you can leave it. I don't recommend it. Blend it out. Just blend it out. You will thank me later. You will like it way better. Way better. And then notice I'm doing small circular motions and windshield wiper motions. Oh, sorry, I knocked you guys. You can, even if you're fair, you guys, you can pull off super smoky looks. You just gotta be a little bit more careful. And an, and an easy way to do that is to do your foundation um, after your eye makeup. You're gonna, um, that way if you make a mess or you need to clean up, you can clean up with your concealer and things like that. I've honestly been thinking about it, you guys. I have think, been thinking about chopping my hair like this length. Um, I actually talked about it all week this week. My best friend really wants me to cut it. Um, I feel like it's a mom haircut and I don't know if I'm ready to commit to the mom haircut yet. Um, I'm picking up just a little bit of, what do you call this? Ferment. I just want to make sure it is popping. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've definitely, I would be lying if I said I have not toyed with the idea of chopping my hair. Um, 
I would be lying. I do like having long hair though. And I have extensions and all that good stuff, but um, but yeah, I've, I've definitely toyed with like this length right here for sure, for sure. Yes, I do have extensions, they're beautiful extensions. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I'm up close. I've got some dry spots. Um, I think when I get hormonal, my eczema flares up. I don't know if those go hand in hand, but that's what it seems like for me. Um, and when the weather changes, which currently it is in the process of changing here, it's cooler than it has been. I get these dry patches on my skin and I have one on my eye. Um, and it's annoying. It is very annoying. So I always have to make sure I'm a little bit more blended. Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of impish and just kind of add it over here. I just want a little bit more to kind of show over there. There we go. All right. Now what we're going to do is add the star of the show. This is going to be the shade Shrewd. And Shrewd is going to be like our graphite shimmer. It is such a pretty color. So what we're going to do is go in with some Behold Setting Spray. If you don't have this, you could use rose water. Um, you can use regular water, but something with a little bit of stuff in it works a little bit better. I tap it off once on my towel just to make sure that there's no um, product beaded up on here to where it's going to ruin my eyeshadow in my pan. I'm going to pick up that baby. And we're going to press this on. And this is by far my favorite way to apply shimmers. Also, if you guys don't have gargantuan nails, you can use your finger. Um, but my nails kind of in, like, prohibit, inhibit, maybe those are the same things, uh, me from using my nails. So I go toward this brush every single time. Aren't they pretty, Jessica? All right, there we go. Tap off the little beaded parts. And then it's just dramatic and beautiful. And I love it so much. <laughs> and I'm a girl, if y'all, if you're new here, um, there are some days I do super easy looks where I'll just pop some bronzer in the crease and some mascara and roll with it. Sometimes I'll do really pretty, you know, bright looks. Um, I haven't done a dark smoky look like this in quite some time. And I know a lot of people requested it recently. So I was like, you know what? Next nighttime live, let's do it. I'm going to make it happen. Um, and I love a good, sultry, dark, romantic, smoky eye. I think they're great. They're absolutely great. All right. So I'm going to take this little brush and just wiggle that. Make sure it's up into my crease. And you, I don't know if you can really tell, but right there is that dry patch for me. And I'm telling you, it's frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let that kind of set for a second because I did apply that with a wet brush. So I wanna make sure it kind of just has time to solidify for a moment. And then I did not pull this one little brush out. Y'all already know the little brush that I'm gonna talk about. And it is lost. Where are you at, homie? I just used you last night, bro. Where are you at? There you go. Nope, nope, that's not it. Oh, it's right here. This little baby blender brush right here, you guys. It was like a dollar from I don't know where, and it is such a good brush, but any little blender brush will work. So we're gonna use that one in a minute. But what we're gonna do first is take this MAC 212 and we're gonna go into Irrational right here. And this is gonna kind of act as eyeliner in our um, lower lash line. So we're gonna shimmy this into our lashes, just like so. See how we're starting to get smoky and sultry and dramatic and I love it. And see how doing your lower lash line just, it, it completes your eye look. I think if you don't do anything on your lower lash line, it just really doesn't complete it. And you kind of look like, I don't know, halfway done. There's something powerful about putting the shadows on your lower lash lines. Like we instantly turn into like rock star status. I'm here for it. Okay, super pretty. 
Now what we're gonna do is pick up our little blender brush and we're gonna grab Fervent right here. And we are going to buff out that Irrational. So we're kind of going backwards from what we did on the top. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And you see how I'm not stopping? If I were to stop just at my top lid, I would feel very incomplete. I would probably feel defeated. Um, I cannot stand the people who think their cars sound good echoing in between buildings. Everything sounds good in an echo. I sound great singing in the shower, but you better believe I don't sound great singing like out in the trees. Um, all right. Make sure you tap off the excess first. Tapping off the excess powder of your brush will kind of help with that. So freaking beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna pick up Impish, which is that more of like that brick red shade, which it looks so orange on here, but it's not. Um, and then we are going to add that down here as well. So I'm bringing this kind of low, um, super dramatic, super smoky, super extra. I love it. So, and remember, you're gonna look like you got punched in the face until you're done. That is totally normal with the smoky eye. So what I'm gonna do now is with no additional product with the fluffy crease brush, we are going to feather those edges in that outer corner to make sure that we have no harsh lines. And right here where it's dry, we're having some harshness and it's getting on the nerves. So freaking beautiful. All right. I kept getting my eyes. Okay, when you're doing eyeshadow as eyeliner on your lower or your upper, um, it is, it is like insurance for your liner. Okay. So you're putting it in your actual lash line, but you can see my water line is still empty. What's going to happen is when you're, if, if your, um, eyeliner wants to run, the eyeshadow is going to catch it. Okay. So you're not going to have like there was running down thing. You're still going to have this heavy look to it. So we are actually going to do that right now. We're going to go in with the pencil liner in the shade perfect. <gasps> Thanks, Teresa. And of course I smudged this. Now, if you wanted to be super dramatic, you could actually smudge this in your lashes. Um, I usually don't do that unless it's on accident like I just did. I keep it strictly shadow on my actual lid and I'm just gonna rub some on that side because I did it on that side. And then I'm gonna take it and pop it on my upper water line. Oh, you're a thick. Yeah, I was gonna say you're thanks, Taylor. I was gonna say thanks, you're sweet, Taylor. But all my words got like all, all discombobulated. All right, so we're gonna go in with brows now. And you guys, anybody, I'm gonna tell you right now, anybody can do any of this makeup, whether it be the foundation, the eyeshadow, the brows, lips, any of it. Um, I was self-taught by watching videos. This is exactly how I was taught. Um, except I watched YouTube before Facebook Live came out, but um, a whole lot of YouTube. That's how I would spend like hours of my time um, before I got into the beauty industry was YouTube. I love YouTube. Um, and you can find the majority of my lives uploaded to YouTube as well. And I do have a vlog channel. I'm working on the logistics of that um, to kind of get that started. So you're gonna see a lot of personal life entertainment. Um, at your fingertips. So look at that with a brow, you guys. It's the little things in makeup that if you go the extra step just to do them, they really make an entire makeup look because we already look a little bit more sassy and dramatic. I don't know what happened, like what this cowlick is doing back here, um, with a brow versus without a brow. So we're going back up on this one. And I start with the lower first. And then I brush downwards and do the upper. Okay, love it, love it, love it. All right. And remember, you guys, this entire eye look is going to be on sale. So the um, eyeshadow palette and the 
what do you call that stuff? Mascara is gonna be on sale this month. It is linked right there that this exact eyeshadow look is gonna be linked there. It is also gonna include the liner for 83. Um, if you want to move things around, just shoot me a message. We can build you a custom link that's completely different from the one that is linked. All right, we're going to go in and dust away any excess powder. Like, oh, I'm here for this. Like a slicked back bun. Oh my God, so good. All right, let me put these brushes away and we are gonna highlight our face really quickly. We are gonna use the duo that I love so dearly. It's gonna be pearly and opaline. Um, opaline is going to be more of this like bronzy shade, which I love being more tan. Um, but honestly, even if you're not super tan, you could still use this on your cheeks just to warm up your skin. I'm not going to put any on my forehead. My forehead's tan. <laughs> we don't need any help. And then what I'm going to do is go in with pearly, which is more of this like blush tone. And these are both in stock, so you can grab them. Just like so. And then what I'm going to do is keep pearly out, and we're going to go in with the liner shader brush. And we're going to pop this on my brow bone. See how it just kind of collectively just blends everything together? It's so good. It's got this like light pink tint to it. It's freaking magical. All right. On a normal day, I'd spray my face, but since I literally have nowhere to go, I'm not going to do that step. But what we are going to do is pop on some mascara. What I'm going to do is, oh, I was going to wear liner. No, we're not. We're going to skip liner. We're just going to do lashes. Um, we are going to go in with a lash curler, just like so. I don't know, I kind of want to do liner, and then I'm kind of like, eh. No, I think it'll be kind of pretty without it because it's just super dramatic on its own. So what I'm going to do is go in with the regular Epic Mascara, and this is going to help blend our natural lashes to our false lashes. And you just need a little bit. You really don't need a lot. Um, you don't want to get too dramatic with your lashes before your falsies because then they're not going to blend. And it's going to be very evident that you have on fake lashes. So I just do it just to blend everything together. Naturally, our lashes aren't black. They're like a dark, dark brown. So when you hold them up against something that's super black, it's pretty noticeable. So one little coat of mascara on the top and then a generous coat on the lowers because y'all know I love some lower lash mascara. All right, if you are not a big falsy fan, y'all know the lash primer with the 40 Epic is literally hands down one of my favorite lash combos ever. It is so dramatic and thick and voluminous. Gives you like the instant lash extension look. So good. All right, let these babies dry. And then I've got to figure out a lip to do. I think I'm going to do successful um, on my lip. I think it's going to be pretty. It'll be kind of vampy. Not vampy, but it'll be darker. And then I can use, I don't know what lip liner. Probably this MAC lip liner. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with these lashes versus cutting new ones. Just because it kind of takes me a hot minute. And these are pretty dang fresh. So... I'm gonna go in with the um, da, 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 the ones I wore last night, which are A12s. These are from Amazon. These are some of my favorite lashes of all time. Um, what is that? I'm very picky with my lashes. Um, very particular with them. Try to take pretty good care of them. <laughs> I try, I say that, I could do better. All right, so what I'm doing now is just peeling off any chunks of glue that um, didn't come off when I peeled the lash off itself. And then we're going to go in with our little lash applicator. This one is from Red Aspen. And I do love Red Aspen's lashes as, lashes as well. So if you would like to try them, let me know. I'll hook you up with my friend Marnie. She is your Red Aspen girl. Okay. So, you want to wait about 30 seconds. You want to let your glue get tacky. Think of this more as like craft, like shirt glue versus like Elmer's glue where it dries really fast. This is going to be more of that thicker kind of consistency where it's going to get tacky. 
What lash curler do you use? Honestly, I think this is from like CVS. Might be from Amazon. Um, it really needs to be replaced because there's some nasty stuff on it. Um, but it is literally nothing special. It is nothing special. Um, Tiffany, I have not tried the magnetic ones. The concept of putting magnets near my eyeballs kind of freaks me out, but I will say that one of my best friends tried them the other day and hated them. Um, <laughs> I haven't known many people to be like avid eyelash wearers, like strip lash wearers that have gone to magnetics and loved them. I have known of people who haven't been fans of strip lashes and who have loved magnetics. Um, but I've not seen many strip lash girls go full on magnetic. So, um, I just, I don't, I don't know. I like the concept of the glue and the, the security of it, if you will. <laughs> you know, like if it's glued, it ain't going to, we, like I'm pretty confident. Like I have, y'all, I have been in windstorms. I have cried and lashes stayed on. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm not educated on the magnetic lashes, but I will say one of my best friends tried them and hated them. Like, she sent me a video and she was like, oh, yeah, they're pretty. Like, they look really fluttery, blah, blah, blah. Then five minutes later, she's like, no, I hate them. She's like, they keep lifting right here and no, no, no. And I'm like, eh, eh, no. I love my false lashes. And these are from Amazon, you guys. So, if y'all want to know my favorite false lashes, they are linked on my like to know it for you guys. Um, literally so good. And I've, I never thought in a million years I would find a good eyelash brand from Amazon. But... Another brand that I really like is Kiss, and you can grab them from I Like to Know It as well. That's what both of these are. These are Kisses. I just put them in um, this container because it was easy to hold them. But um, Kiss Russian Volume and Kiss Chiffon. Chiffon is a great daily lash if you're not looking for something as dramatic as what I have on. Um, granted, I have worn the lashes I have on with no eyeshadow before as well. So it really just depends on kind of like what you're looking for. But I do have all of my favorite lashes linked in my Like to Know It for you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, eh, I don't know. I'll, I'm, the lash, strip lashes and glue has, have been around for so long, you guys. I'm just like, eh, well, it's literally been around for decades. Let's just stick with it. And I'm good with it. I'm good with it. And it's my favorite. I, I like how I can't feel them. I don't know if you can feel, um, I don't know if you can feel magnetic lashes on. I feel like you would be able to. I could be totally wrong. Um, but all right. So I just peeled off all of that glue. We're going to go in here and pop on a layer of glue. Just a thin little layer. I do prefer the duo lash glue with the wand. It makes things a lot easier, you guys. I have had the glue where it was a squeezy tube before I figured out that this was, you know, an option. I'll never go back to squeezy tube glue ever, 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 ever. All right, so we're waiting 30 seconds on this. We're gonna pop on this lip combo and then we're gonna be done. But I absolutely think this is beautiful. I think it's so pretty, kind of sunset-ish. Like, I mean, similar to what we did the other night, I guess, but definitely a lot more smoky, a little bit more dramatic. Um, I wish I had a darker lip that I could do. Uh, I like, I like successful. We don't want to go too crazy dark with it. So just give this a couple more seconds. And then what I'll actually do while I do that is take this and dab it on my lips. I do have that. Um, for those of you hopping on the sleep mask, I have this linked on my like to know it as well. Um, you guys can go grab it. It is so good. I found it for the cheapest price, um, linked for you guys. So I shopped around for y'all. I did. All right. And if you guys already don't have the Like to Know It app, go download it. The link to do so is in the description of this video. When you follow me, you're able to shop a bunch of stuff that I can link for you guys. And it's the easiest way just to get direct links and to grab things without having to go search for them yourselves. Because there are different um, variations of products and some retailers sell like a better version or you get a better deal or lower price. And I really try hard to find um, kind of like the best stuff for you guys. So that is what is over on like to know it if you've never ventured out there. Okay. So freaking beautiful. 
All right, put the tweezers away. I'm gonna go in with this MAC lip liner in the shade Soar. And this is linked on my like to know it, I think, too. If it's not, I will get it linked for you guys. Um, it's just easier when I can link stuff for you guys. You can click the link, all the good stuff. All right, here we go. We're gonna overline just a little bit. All right, sorry. And overlining, I can't talk when I do that part. Overlining is gonna give you a little bit more of that kind of lip filler look, a little bit more of a plump look, if you will. So we're gonna go in with Successful. So, so pretty, you guys. I think it's in stock. If it's not, don't hate me. But it is permanent and it's staying, so it will be back. But if it is. I mean, how can you not love that lip color? Like, oh, so freaking beautiful. So beautiful. All right. Apparently there's like exciting stuff going on in my team chat right now. All right, you guys, that is it for this makeup look. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is super dramatic and I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message. I have until midnight to make this goal happen, you guys, and I'm so stinking close. So if you guys need to be color matched for anything, please let me know. Thank you, Teresa. Isn't it beautiful, Kathy? I love this lip color. I wear this lip color a lot in the fall and winter. I just, I love it so much. Um, but I, like I said, I'm super close to this goal. I have until midnight to make it happen. So if you guys have any questions or need to be color matched for anything, shoot me a message. The link to grab this eye bundle is gonna be that link right there. If it gives you a hard time or does anything weird, just shoot me a message. I can talk you through how to fix it. Um, or we can build you a completely different custom link altogether. So remember, if you need to be color matched for foundation or anything like that, all I need is a recent picture of yourself and I can get you a custom link built up with your base face. So if you have any questions, send me a message. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.